Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. I'm really hoping that you saw our last video when I planted up this container. This is one of Crescent Garden's True Drop self-watering containers. And in it, I planted some really pretty pink flowers. This is one of Proven Winner's 2017 recipes. It's called Above and Beyond. And it is Supertunia Vista Bubblegum, Supertunia Vista Fuchsia, and Supertunia Vista Silverberry. And then I added the Graceful Grasses Purple Fountain Grass just as a dramatic, pretty centerpiece because this will grow tall and be beautiful. So in that video, I talked about how this arrangement was gonna be part of a bigger project, how I had several of these. Check this out. There are 12 of them, 12 of these gorgeous pots full of these beautiful flowers. I have been so excited for this video and been waiting all spring because this project has been in the works since last fall. Aaron and I have been talking about how we could add extra color to this side of our house. Aaron suggested containers, which is a great idea. So we came out here, figured out how many we were gonna need, and then also talked about you know, how much time it would add to my watering chores. Um, and then since I had such great success with one of these self-watering containers last summer, we thought, you know, it would be a great idea if we could get a bunch of the self-watering containers out here. That way it doesn't take a lot of work or a lot of time. So we got with Crescent Garden, told them the vision for this project, asked them if they wanted to partner, and they said yes. Like, I was so floored that they wanted to be involved in this project. I was so excited, and of course, Proven Winners is always excited to be in project, involved in projects like this. So I just feel so lucky and so blessed to be working with such great people and to have such great, you guys, such great people following our videos and watching and encouraging us. Anyway, so we really just wanted to show you this project because it's in its infancy right now. We just planted them up. This is day one. So you guys will be able to see them in garden tours. We'll do updates on them. And I really just wanted to put these pots through the rigors of our Eastern Oregon summers because they get upwards of 115. We have very low humidity. We have high winds and no rain. We might get one, maybe two rainstorms in the entire summer. So it's gonna be, we're gonna test them out. And I really wanna show you guys, like I am marking down on the calendar. Like when I filled the reservoirs today, I marked it down. Next time I need to film, I'm gonna mark it down so I can tell you guys exactly how many days and what the temperature and weather was like. Anyway, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful project. I just love it. So what we did, first of all, that one was already planted because of the prior video. Then we came and set all of these other pots out one at a time, filled them all up with soil, which it took a little bit over one two cubic ba foot bag of soil per pot because the soil reservoir only comes to about here and the rest of it's the water reservoir. And then I came through with a slow release fertilizer, added it to the soil like I normally do, and then we planted them up. So, I mean, it took quite a long time. It was quite a lot of work, but oh my word, by the end of it, so worth it. And I'm so excited to see them grow on this summer. I mean, you can just see them all the way down to the end there. It was also, we were thinking, okay, so should I do different combinations of flowers in every single container or do all the same? And I decided to go all the same because I thought it would be really striking. And I don't know, leave, leave your opinion in the comment section down below. Would you have done all different or what do you think about having them all the same? I thought it just would be really pleasing if it was just all a mass of one kind of color. So anyway, might change it for next year, we'll see. And Erin and I, since we feel so blessed and so lucky to be able to do a project like this, we wanna share some love. So Erin and I ourselves personally want to give away one of these containers to one of you guys, as well as a gift card to Proven Winners so you can fill it up with plants. And you can duplicate what we've done here or you can do something completely different, pick a different color of pot or different color of plants, whatever you want. But we just wanted to say thank you guys for being amazing, for following our videos and supporting us because it means the world to us. In our previous video, when we did a little bit more explaining about the container and how it works, we will link it down below. There is a giveaway attached to that one as well. So you actually have two chances to win. So make sure to watch that previous video. And again, all of the details, all the links, everything you need to know will be in the description or the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.